the next few days and just think about that. If freedom is not worth defending, then what type of dysfunction and toxicity have you embraced as a way of life? We don't think about it. We think about tangible things. We think about what we want. We think about success, but how many people think about freedom? And why don't we think about it? And what is it that's so dysfunctional and toxic that we don't even consider freedom as an important part of our lives? I want to speak to you real honestly and openly from my heart today. And the reality of the matter is that the Jamel you see today is not the Jamel that I've always been. And so I feel like a lot of times because of highlight reels and social media and because people don't know you like other people know you, uh, we make a lot of assumptions about people. We think that they would just have been perfect all their lives and they're flawless and they've never made any mistakes and uh, the roses are always blooming and Kool-Aid is coming out of the fountain and everything about their life has just been wonderful. And that's just not the reality. And what I want to be courageous enough to say, a lot of people wouldn't tell you this. They just will give you a bunch of, you know, hoopla and be positive and live your best life and how can you live your best life from a broken place? That's what I don't understand. I see so much on social media, live your best life, do this, your best life, going after your best life. But you're broken you're and dysfunctional and you are not healed. And you got to do that work before you can get to your best life. Your best not life is not because you can fly to St. Tropez and because you can go to Louis Vuitton or Prada or you know, you can shop at the biggest boutiques and you can make the largest purchases. Those things don't define us. Uh, they are the accoutrements of success, but they are not the anchors of success. And I can't even go into that because that will take the show in a whole other direction. But I want you to make sure that you're building your life on the things that really matter. Uh, freedom was has not always been on my list of priorities because at one time in my life, freedom was not very important to me. And if you've read my autobiography, if you just listen to this podcast, if you follow me on social media, if you have attended a live event and heard me speak, you know, I speak very openly and candidly about my life and my journey. And the reality is that freedom was not always important to me. There was a phase in my life where I was very empty, I was very broken, I was very... Um, conflicted, I guess is the word, and trying to figure out who Jamel is, um, does my life really matter? Does it have any purpose or meaning? Why am I here? Um, is there a such thing as healthy relationships and people that come into your life for the right reasons? And all of these different questions that were swirling in my mind at one time, Freedom was the farthest thing from my mind at all. I didn't even really see it as a life pillar of value until I started doing some work. And so if I didn't see it as a life pillar, I guarantee you that most people have never taken the time to consider that freedom should be a life pillar in your life. And I'm sharing that because I want all of us to come to a place of awareness in our lives where we realize that we are not the cars we drive. We are not the houses we live in. We are not our networks. We are not our net worth. We are not our platforms. We are not what other people tell us that we are. But we come to a place of knowing who we are and being able to articulate your I am statement unapologetically and to show up authentically as the greatest expression of who you were created to be. That's what I want for you because at the end of the day, none of those things matter. Many of the things that we have considered of high priority have very low priority in the scheme of things. And so I want you to make sure that freedom is something that is important to you. And why is that? I did not value freedom, so I gave it away just like I gave away my personal power. It wasn't important. In that time, uh, trying to get 
a sense of fulfillment was important. Trying to get a sense of significance was important, a sense of love, a sense of community and relationships, even though many of them were so dysfunctional and toxic, and I would have been better off just to keep it at a distance. But in those seasons of our life, those things were what I thought was so important to me. And I look back at that now and I just laugh because it's like, what were you thinking? And then I remind myself, that was you being adjusted to an old paradigm. So we don't even need to meditate on what you were thinking or why you were thinking it because your thinking and belief system is so different from where it was at that time. And so it was not until I discovered my significance uh, to such a point that I became, no, let me rephrase that. Why Why was that? It was not until I discovered uh, some key things about myself that things began to change in my life. And one of the discoveries that I made uh, is that I had discounted my significance to such a point that I became a human doormat. Um and I had to awaken to the truth that freedom is something that I needed to defend in my life. So like I said, if you're trying to be accepted, you're trying to be loved, you're trying to uh, fulfill this need for significance in your life, you tolerate a lot of things. And I look back at some of the things I tolerated, and it's like, where were you at that time? Why? Did you allow that? Why was that acceptable? But it was acceptable because I had discounted my significance. And because I discounted my significance to such a point, I was just a doormat. So people could kind of do whatever they want. They could come in and out of my life. There was no boundaries. There was no stipulations. I had no terms to negotiate relationships or anything in my life. And so it was just a hot mess. There's no other word to put there, but it was a hot mess, and that's a lot of people's lives. I came to an awareness very soon in life, and I made some major adjustments many years ago, but some people never make the adjustments. That becomes an ongoing cycle and pattern that is never interrupted in their lives. And by then, I had done so much damage that I wondered if it would even be possible to get back to a place of freedom in my life. You can go so low you can lose so much of yourself, you can give so much of your power away to other people that you can become so entangled and enmeshed in that that you don't even feel like emancipation is possible for you anymore. And I know I'm talking to some people that understand exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, Others are like, I don't understand. But some of you know exactly what I'm talking about because you have given too much. You have you have done too much without expecting from other people. And when we do that, when we give and give and give and give and give and people take and take and take and take, we are going to be reduced in the process. I don't think we understand that. It's reducing us. It's reducing your self-worth, your self-value, your self-importance, your significance. All of those things are being snatched away from you in the middle of that process. And so... It was during that time that I realized that I had lost myself and I had lost sight of what really mattered in my life. And I know I'm talking to somebody today that said, Jamel, you're talking to me. I have lost sight of who I am. And I see it everywhere. I see it on social media. I see it out in public. I see it out shopping and just out doing life. I see people that have lost sight of who they are. They have a painted smile on their face, but they're not happy. They're depressed. They're miserable. They're lonely. Um, And we can only wear the facade for so long. Every person has that breaking point. And at some point, you have to stop. um, You have to say, I don't like myself. I don't like my life. I don't like and that I need to make some changes to my life if I want things to be different. And so as I started to do the work, put my life back together, my life collapsed because I was a foundation. And the feeling that I was missing was freedom. Most people never think much about freedom. We think about bigger houses, 
status, 